Louisiana Beer Reviews, Hogarden. Original Belgian wheat beer, brewed in Belgium. Owned by Anheuser-Busch InBev. 4.9% alcohol. <clears throat> it says year 1445. Well, if you read the website carefully, it says this beer was originated around 1445, which at the time Belgium was in the Holy Roman Empire. That's there was no Belgium, there was the Holy Roman Empire and that's what it was part of. But really it was started in 1965 when a fellow in Belgium restarted the brand and then it was bought out in 1985 by the big brewers. Okay, so it's a little bit of a bunk with that 1445 stuff, okay? Gets a B plus on Beer Advocate. The bros gave it a B. I gave it an A when I had it last year. It gets a 94 out of 100 on Rape Beer and a 99 out of 100 for the style. And it gets a very fine rating on the beer in me. So I've only had it once before. There's a whole line of Ho Garden beers, but only I think only this one is sold in the United States. I'd like to try some of the higher strength ones, but they're not. I'm not. I'll have to go to Belgium to get it. Okay, well let's try this out. Quite a bit of smoke. It's kind of cloudy now. I was hoping the sun would be out. Eleven point two ounce bottle, which is not a value, I don't think. I think this bottle was like a dollar twenty nine. Oh well. I wanted to try it, so I bought it. Okay, I have it very cold, probably too cold. It has a very thick, like all these wheat beers are fine, it has a very thick, fluffy white head. Filtered now to the cloud. Okay, um, you pick up some uh, spice. So it's, it's mildly spiced, lightly spiced. And the color is like you'd expect. You know, you get that hazy. You know, this is more of a banana, really. I wish the sun was shining through it, though. It's really getting cloudy. But it's hazy and like banana, huh? Okay. You know, so it looks some, like some kind of fruit juice. Pineapple juice, maybe. You get that spice and the bread, and uh, it's not that strong of an aroma, really, though. Let's go with the taste. get the banana, the coriander spice, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, coriander is made from, uh, you know that stuff they use in the Mexican food, the, um, I can't remember the name of it naturally. Cilantro. Yeah, I think it's made from cilantro, <clears throat> which is a strong smelling uh, spice. So you get the banana, you get the bread, the white bread, really, white bread. Reminds me of bunny bread or wholesome bread. And uh, The coriander, the body is uh, medium. I wouldn't say thick, but it's medium. 
the finish is a uh, sort of a uh, wet I say uh, sort of um, syrupy some sort of like uh, juice like I don't know it's hard to say the drinkability is super high because it is easy to drink and I guess you have to spice these a little bit because the wheat beers without the spice are so bland like the abita wheat they don't put the spice in it and I it's just so bland um, anyway if you like mild beers and you like something different you've never had a wheat beer <coughs> this is a really good here comes the sun as George Harrison would say here comes the sun or as he would have said here comes the sun uh, anyway I'm gonna go with a B plus this time I was like crazy over it last time but it's still very good I'm not a big wheat beer fan it's not something I shoot for usually I prefer usually lagers but or just uh, like you know regular type ales but I mean it is very good for if you like wheat beer so laissez les <laughs> laissez les bon temps roulé this is a very good beer and I'm gonna end this review by saying y'all come on down to Louisiana and go to an LSU game.